welcome to what is hopefully going to be a set of tutorials about getting up and started in PureScript and just do a quick hello world. First of all, if you go to purescript.org, you'll see the website and you can go to download. We'll go through the NPM version. If you're unsure, I'll just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, so we'll go through the NPM version. And if you're unsure what NPM is, First of all, we'll need to get Node. Um, so as it's explained, Node is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome V8. So if you're used to you know, doing a lot of JavaScript, you'll be well and up to date with this and it'll be fine. Uh, but if you're not, don't worry. What you've got to do is you go to nodejs.org and on the home page, we'll just download current. You'll download the current. I've already done this as you can see down here, and then you'll open it, you'll run the installer, and you just agree to everything, sign your life away, there's nothing like that, but anyway, and at the end of that, you can go to your terminal, open your favorite terminal here, and to check it's all installed, we'll do a node-v, and that'll give us a version, so that's great, and this is where it ties in and why we need it, is because with known comes packaged npm, and this is a package manager, npm, dash V and that'll give you 3.10. So that's the one that I'm on, but it's it's not necessarily going to be the one that you're running on, but it's not a problem. Um, what we'll have a quick look. Oh, here we go. So uh, the thing with NPM, here we go. As Node says is Node.js uh, package ecosystem. NPM is the largest ecosystem of open source libraries in the world. So yeah, there you go. So how we're going to use NPM now is to install PureScript globally. So we'll grab this stuff. We'll go into our terminal. Here you can do this from anywhere that you wish. It doesn't have to be in a specific folder. So we'll npm install dash g, which is for global and pure script. So hit enter. Wait for that to download. Bish bash bosh, that's downloaded. Okay, so now we've got pure script installed globally. Next, what we need, which will be really handy, if you scroll down on this page, which is pulp. As you can see here, it's a recommended build tool for beginners. So hopefully you'll be a beginner. I'm a beginner. Let's download it. So npm, you can shortcut install with i, and we'll again dash g for global, and we'll put pulp. Wait for that to download also. There we go, now we have pulp, so let's clear this. So next what we'll do is we'll quickly install some plugins with Atom. Uh, I'm not a Mac Atom user, but I found that there's a ID Pure Script plugin which makes things super easy. It's entirely up to you if you want to install this, but I'll just go through it quickly because it's not that hard. Okay, so if you go, well it's it's on the um, GitHub, Atom ID Pure Script. Uh, if you type that in, it will take you to the Atom website, but I'll demonstrate how we install this. So if we go to our Atom, so first of all, oh, you'll probably need to get Atom. So here on Atom, again, you'll just download, well, I'm on the Mac, but you'll download it. It will give you all the different options, and you'll install it. Same old, and then you'll come into it, and you'll go into settings. It will open this, so if I replicate that. We'll go settings, here we go, preferences, sorry, there, and then if we go to install, and then we'll ID pure script, and then we'll enter search for that. We'll do a little search, and here it is, and we'll install it. So if we go back to here, and oh, and we read the docs, you'll see it says, um, this is the atoms, the versions that you need for it to run, and it'll say um, require atom packages. These should be auto installed by starting a package, example by running any pure script command. So what will happen is these guys will automatically install. Uh, this is an optional one, but we'll install it anyway. So hyperclick, and I think hyperclick is to allow you to sort of click onto bits of code to jump about, but we'll get it going anyway. And there we go. Search for hyperclick, and here it is. So we'll install that too. Lovely. Right, so hyperclick is installed. Next, let's get a project going. What I'll do is I'll make a new directory, and we'll call it PureScript, and we'll cd into that. 
And then we're going to use the build manager we downloaded, which is pulp. So we'll pulp in it. So what's happening here? Well, it's all written. It's generating a project. Okay, so let's see what it's created. So it's created a bower.json, a bower components, a source, and a test. So bower is a similar and it's a predecessor to npm. If you're aware of JavaScript, you should already know this. Um, if you're not, it's essentially yeah the predecessor to npm. So pure scripts call library is essentially very small. I mean, it's got the compiler, but the actual essence is, is small. And the way to use pure script is you're going to have to install uh, multiple de dependencies to create a project. These dependencies would be things like uh, you know maths or data dot array and you know. Uh, a numerous list of dependencies but essentially these are all stored on Bower. What we'll do now is we'll open Atom from this folder and we'll have a little quick look. I'll minimize this. Okay so now we've got these two packages installed. Let's have a little look. So oh, here we go. Hyperclick and idea pure script. So we'll in our folder We'll open mains.pers and oh, that's no good. We can't see any syntax or anything like that. It's all black and white. Well, there's a quick, easy way to do that. First of all, it might be a case that you've got to stop and restart your um, Atom, or if you've done that, package, pure script, build. So we're building. Here we go. So it's automatically installing those guys. There we go. It's installed. So now, We've got all the highlighting and everything like that. That looks lovely. What that explains, I don't know if you can see, but at the very bottom of the screen, this is a handy thing. Every time you save, what's happening ultimately is it's um, creating a IDE server. And it's that's just a watch. And I'm watching all the file system. And if there's anything saved, it will automatically rebuild everything. At the very bottom, this is what I was saying, you might not be able to see, but there's little ticks that will tell you no issues and a tick for pure script, so it all seems to be working fine. Okay, so in here, what is going on? What I'll do is I'll pump this up a little bit so you can see what's going on. What you notice is pure script files have got a filing in of PURS, PURS, so that's for pure script, and this um, will pick it up, and every time it has, this is what's going to happen. Um, what comes out of a pulp in it are these sets of files and this is how you would lay out your average file. You'd create a module, you'd call it main, where, and you'd have your imports, which are these are all our imports. This is a type signature, we won't go into that yet, but we'll explain later. And this is, for now, is our hello world. So it's going to log a hello world, or oh, well, wow. hello sailor, which is even better. Okay, so let's see that in action. What we get is pulp PSCI, so pulp PSCI, and that'll load it up, we're in it. And what I'll do is I'll quickly separate that into two, just so you can see it, so it's at the top half, ignore the bottom half. From here, you can do similar things as into the file. So here, where we've imported prelude, we'll do exactly the same. So we'll import the prelude, here it is, and then you can do sort of Things like that. One plus one. Uh, if you don't have imported, if you hadn't have imported the prelude, you would have got errors there uh, because it doesn't recognise it. And so that was an example of um, the things sometimes need to install. This prelude comes is the core. Right. Other bits I should show you. The components. These are the things that we've installed from our bow file. And the output. This is the output of everything. Um, converted into JavaScript. And if we look inside mains, and we'll see this is the compiled JavaScript that we get out of it. So once it's compiled, this is what we see. But this is relevant. So let's go back to pulp. Let's try and load in this file so we can see and hopefully see a hello sailor. Import, and we can import main. Right, so now we've got main. So if we run the function main, which is on line 7, we should see hello sailor. 
There we go. So you see Hello Sailor, but underneath the EC unit, um, if you just ignore that for now, because it would probably add a little bit of complexity, but ultimately you've got to think that, because pure script in a way things are, is any side effects are generally going to be in a wrapper and they're, they're, they're generally isolated. So, you, you know, because of functional programming, you don't want your applications to be dealing with side effects. So this is an example of that, but we'll go into that in the future. I'll just show off a little, other little bits, um, which is useful, which is why I ultimately went into Atom IDE, or sorry, the IDE Pure Script, is if you type in map, something like that, here you'll get a, you know, a definition of all the different types of map that are available in Pure Script. And underneath, I mean, you might not be able to see it, but there is also the type signature of that map. So what we want, for example, say we want the we want the map from control apply, and then all we've got to do is we tab on there, and you'll see instantly it creates the import for you. There's the map, and now we're able to use the map. You can hover over the map, and boom, you'll be able to see the type signature of that. These little bits are really useful, um, and we'll go into them once we further ourselves in the tutorials. So for now, you'll be glad to know that you've got yourself up and running with pure script and we'll say Q and see ya